Hey there YouTube, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on how to set and change your time signature in FL Studio. So we're going to be working with FL20. Mine's a little out of date, I haven't bothered updating in a while, but it doesn't matter. It works the same in every other, uh, every other version I've done so far, so I highly doubt they're changing it. Um, we're going to start off with a 4-4 doof doof beat. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to change the patterns time signature and then we're going to show you how to change the time signature in the playlist itself. So we've got our 4-4 four, four doof doof beat, nice and simple. And what we're going to do is right click the pattern, go set time sig signature, it's as simple as that. Set it to 7-8 because I like 7-8. And now we have a 7-8 time signature um, with a beat that is 7-8 and we'll add I don't know, a little bit of snare there. A little bit interesting. Now, if we want to put this into the playlist, click it in, notice it doesn't reach the end. That's because this is still set to 4-4. Now, what you can do is hit this drop down box, go time markers, and you can add one, but here we've got a button here, shift alt T for adding a time signature, or we can click this. Um, so we'll set this to 7-8. Now it is in line with the pattern. Uh, we can drag this around. So if you if you accidentally put it here by accident, you can drag it back to where you need it. Now that we've put a time marker in, we can now set more by just right clicking there underneath the numbers. So before we put one in, this bar was half as wide and it just had the numbers. Now we've got an extra bar underneath that you can't really, there's no divider, but it's there. So where these fit, the time markers. So you can right click, go add marker, add time signature, place loop. Now, one thing I forgot to mention in the original recording of this is that if you want to change a time signature you've already put in, in the, uh, the playlist, you can right click on it and just go set time signature and change it to whatever you want to set it to. Um, that'll adjust itself and it's as easy as that. Um, so we want to add four of these. Now what if we want to make a second pattern and what if we want to do a polymeter? We can do that. So if we want to do a polymeter, um, let's just say we'll go with this uh, I don't know how this is going to sound. I'm doing something. And so, yeah, there we go. Now, this isn't in line because this is still 4 4. This we can then click here, here, and I guess just snip off the end. But if we want to actually make it even better or like more true to a, a polymeter. Um, I don't actually know how long we'll have to make this go. This might actually have no end. So, oh no, look, there we go. So by the end of two uh, repeats of this, so well actually eight of these, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, so yeah, that makes sense. There's eight, there's eight patterns of seven and there's seven patterns of four, four. So yeah, uh, I don't know how this is going to sound, it might sound like absolute garbage, but it's to demonstrate. I actually kind of like that, I don't know about you, but I like that. Um, and that's pretty much it, so you can still put a 4-4 four, four or any time signature you want, I could change that to whatever I want. Over the 7-8, it won't change it to 7-8 uh, because this is 7-8. These are 7-8 because we've set them here. This one's 4-4 four, because four, it's set to 4-4 four, four here and it'll stay there. It'll be out of time. You can do all sorts of interesting stuff with it. So I hope you've learned something today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope I've been brief enough for you. And thank you for watching. See you next time.